everybody this is rudra pradhan here and welcome you to dmda course we are here to discuss the second unit lecture that is on exploring data and analytics on spreadsheets so let me briefly introduce what we have discussed in the last lectures that is on introduction to business analytics we we highlighted what is the exact concept of business analytics and we have connected with the various you know applications the importance the scope the areas where we can actually apply and some of the business analytics analytics tools basics and then you know we are here to know something more about the business analytics kind of you know structure so in the business analytics there are three things so you must have a problems and then we we must have data then business analytics tools help you to solve the business pro business problem with the available data and the kind of you know requirement so now once you have a problem so then the problem can be transferred into a particular you know structures maybe in a kind of you know uh, you know mathematical model or statistical model then with the help of data and the kind of you know analytical tools so we can investigate in a much better way and then we can get more better insights or you know better kind of you know inference to solve some of the you know business problems and that to to that to get a kind of you know better or you know good management decision so here so the first and requirement is to understand the data and once you understand the data then you may be in a position to apply a particular technique then uh, to solve this uh, this you know management problems so let me highlight here the basics about the particular you know requirement in the last lectures we have discussed about the groupings of you know business analytics that is you know descriptive analytics predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics the descriptive analytics uh, you know is the simplest one and uh, that to use of simply descriptive statistic data visualization technique and uh, you know uh, business related queries to understand the uh, past structure and predictive analytics comes after the descriptive analytics and here the idea is to predict the probability of occurrence of future event like you know demand forecasting sales forecasting and you know uh, some other uh, areas like you know loan defaults uh, stock market predictions etc etc right so in the case of you know pres prescriptive analytics uh, the idea is just to you know choose the optimum values of the decision variables however these three analytics are you know very closely connected to each other so far as you know uh, business requirement is concerned or you know business decision is concerned so let me uh, give you some kind of you know hint here of course we have highlighted the details in the last lecture so the specific questions we like to address in these three analytics are like this so in the first case descriptive analytics the idea is to just check what happened in the past and in the case of predictive analytics so our idea is just to check what will happen in the future and prescriptive analytics is the kind of you know choosing the best courses of action so for as a you know application or the use of business analytics is concerned so most of the organizations they use descriptive analytics as a business intelligence tool but uh, in the case of predictive analytics only you know selective organization they use for their business intelligence and again so for the prescriptive analytics uh, you know is concerned very very few organization they use their you know business intelligence uh, you know requirement Uh, so the, but uh, what is the reality or what is the best requirement you should analyze the problem in all these three angles if you analyze the problem in all the three angles then you know it will it, it, it will give you better structure you know or it will give you you know better decision so far as you know uh, your management problem is concerned so now uh, if you go to the tool basket then we have actually plenty of tools under the descriptive analytics we have a plenty of tools in predictive analytics and we have a plenty of tools in prescriptive analytics so in the descriptive analytics we have actually the structure called as a data types and scales 
and uh, then measures of central tendency, measures of variation, measures of shape and data visualization. In the case of predictive analytics, we are keen to in discuss regression analysis, decision tree, markup chains, random forest and artificial neural networks. And in the case of prescriptive analytics, we like to highlight linear programming, integer programming, multi criterion decision making, nonlinear programming, Six Sigma and social media analytics tools. So, uh, you know, we, we just, you know, highlighted, you know, couple of, you know, tools or, you know, techniques under these three category. But in reality, there are many more such, you know, techniques are readily available to solve some of the business problem, uh, you know, either in uh, predictive analytics or prescriptive analytics or any kind of, you know, uh, you know, uh, descriptive structures, right. But uh, here, uh, we are going to discuss actually something the kind of you know requirement uh, for you know descriptive analytics, predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics. So, that is what actually the structure uh, you know for you know unit 2. So, in the unit 2, so we are going to address 5 things. So, accordingly we have a 5 different uh, you know lectures. So, the first lecture will be on data structure and data view then second one is the use of spreadsheet functions, then third one is on examples with excel functions, fourth one is the data visualization, then data analysis. And uh, these are the things are you know mandatory requirement or you know we can say that it is a precondition to descriptive analytics, predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics, because we need three things. We need actually a problem, data followed by business analytic tools and then we will look for decision. So, now until unless you understand the data properly, then you are not in a position to pick up a particular you know tool for you know solving the uh, business problem. So, first of all you understand the data, uh, record the data properly, report the data properly and you, you do the kind of you know transformation and structure as per the particular you know requirement, because the first end data may not be in a particular structure as per your requirement. So, it is you to you know do the kind of you know transformation or you know structuring, so that you know data can be further used for uh, the problem requirement. So, we are here to address the first one that to data structure and data view through you know excel spreadsheet. So, in this particular you know lectures, we like to uh, understand the uh, data in the first instance, then the use of you know uh, Microsoft excel excel uh, uh, demos then you know do some kind of you know excel operations but in the first end so before you go to the excel so you should understand the data structure first so we have already highlighted data structure can be of four types uh, time series cross sectional pool and panel but in this case since we are you know dealing with you know excel operations or you know excel understanding so i am just reporting here there uh, you know these two structure only so, that is time series reporting and cross sectional reporting. So, by the way, in that uh, a, a, in, a, in a kind of you know data understanding, so you must specify the variable first and any information related to variable is nothing but called as you know data. So, that the information related to that particular variable can be reported with respect to time or it, it can be reported with respect to any cross sectional unit. When you are reporting with respect to time, then cross sectional unit will be constant and when you are reporting for any cross sectional unit let us say for individual or organization or industry like that. So, then time will be remain fixed right a particular time will be remain fixed and the reporting will be with respect to industry or you know individuals. For example, so let us say profit is a variables and uh, uh, for a company X and uh, the profit is reporting for two different year 2016 and 2017 then 10, 20 respectively in million US dollar, then this particular you know structuring is called as a uh, you know a time series data. So, in the second case the same profit, but it is for a particular company in the year you know uh, you know particular you know company means particular you know uh, group of company uh, with you know uh, uh, in a particular year 2016. So, now if we, we like to target a particular industry let us say software and uh, what is the profit variations in 2016 and here we have just given two examples 
So, one is a company ABC and company PQR and that two profit for 2016, uh, 2016 is a 10, US, 10 million US dollar and 20 million US dollar. The same data I am putting in a different kind of you know way. So, in the first hand it is called as you know this is what actually called as you know time series structure and this is what actually called as you know cross sectional structure. In this case cross sectional unit is fixed and in this case time series structure is actually a uh, fixed time uh, fixing a particular year then cross sectional unit will change, but here cross sectional unit will be constant for a particular industry or individual then time uh, uh, you know the reporting will be with respect to time it may be annually it may be weekly it may be kind of you know day wise, but the data will be recorded and reported with a particular you know structures uh, uh, either you know in a kind of you know cross sectional structure or in a kind of you know time series structures otherwise uh, you know uh, it is very difficult to understand properly uh, uh, you know so far as analysis is concerned or you know uh, investigation is concerned right. So, now in order to uh, know much about this, so we can move to the particular you know uh, excel spreadsheet. So, we have a plenty of softwares to record the data, to report the data as per the business requirement or you know so far as the business analytics uh, you know is concerned, but you know excel spreadsheet is one of the fantastic softwares. It will be very handy and very useful for many uh, you know advanced softwares and in fact excel itself will really solve some of the business problem by you know using their you know toolbox and you know uh, uh, you know kind of you know uh, techniques right so here so in the excel spreadsheet so we have actually a complete flexibles how to report the data and how to you know uh, structure the data how to analyze the data we have a different kind of you know setups in the excel sheet altogether so this will help you lot uh, you know to work in the kind of you know uh, fields like you know business analytics to solve some of the business related problems you will find you know very beautiful structure through which you know you report you know you can actually uh, st uh, structures then you can analyze then you will find some kind of you know insight and inference so per you know so you know as per the particular you know requirement of you know business problems right so if you go to the any uh, if, if you go to any excel spreadsheet so the standard you know operation will be like this so you have a opening option saving option printing options uh, navigation then selecting ranges you can insert a row, you can uh, you know insert a column, you can delete a row, you can delete a column, you can uh, you know uh, 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 add ons uh, means entering more data, then you can edit the data, then you can actually uh, you know uh, transpose the data, you can actually uh, go for some kind of you know transformations by using some kind of you know formula, then you, you have the option of formatting that means the same um, data can be in a number format can be currency format can be decimal format can be percentage format then you have the option you know working with the test strings then uh, you can go for some kind of you know arithmetic calculations then you can have the option of formatting text then modifying options so so many things are actually there in that kind of you know excel spreadsheet so this is the is uh, you know simple uh, uh, you know structure of you know excel spreadsheet and uh, here is you know you have a tabs home insert page layout formula data review view all these things are there i am very sure all of you are already acquainted with the excel spreadsheet and uh, if you are acquainted it's fine just you you have to actually revisit if not then you, you must be acquainted with the excel spreadsheet because most of the softwares which you like to use in this particular you know course so, well connected with you know Excel, Excel spreadsheet. Once you are acquainted with Excel spreadsheet, then enter the data, record the data, you know structure the data, then the final structure of the data can be imported to any kind of you know further you know investigation or you know any kind of you know advanced use of you know any kind of you know softwares, right. But here Excel itself will help you some kind of you know uh, process but uh, uh, you should understand the particular structure first then as per the particular requirement either you can solve the problem in the excel uh, excel spreadsheet itself or you can take the particular data into some other kind of you know software and where you can actually investigate as per the particular requirement right so uh, so this is what the standard uh, menu altogether 
and if you go to the standard menu so then you know uh, you can actually operate the data in a different kind of you know structure by uh, fixing any kind of you know mathematical formula for instance let's say this is actually a standard kind of you know operation is there so what you can do with the help of some kind of you know formula uh, you, you can actually transfer the data into a different shape right so this is the particular operation you can do in the excel operations right and then uh, you can actually mark the data uh, you know properly so that you can you know recognize as per the particular requirement so in the excel entry so the data will be recorded and reported in a kind of in you know, a matrix uh, uh, structures so you will find the row wise representation and column wise represent, uh, representation and uh, uh, then uh, you can understand the particular data in a, a relative reference and you can uh, have a kind of an understanding with the absolute reference for example so this is what actually relative reference a2 so that means column a second uh, you know row 2 c5 column uh, column c you know uh, then row 5 d10 column d you know 10th uh, row like this then absolute reference same things but it will be reported to a particular you know uh, particular entry only so you must be very careful you know so that is how the beauty of this particular you know uh, spreadsheet right so once you uh, once you will be acquainted with this particular system then you will enjoy the uh, you know process so it will be very handy and uh, it's like you know you know playing a game so uh, you know data handling is a kind of you know game you must have interest and you should uh, you know uh, know the particular you know operations and you should do understand the particular structure properly until unless you understand until understand until unless you know the particular structure you may not be in a position to operate right so the first and requirement for any kind of you know business operation or business analytics that you know you should you know uh, uh, you know uh, understand the data report the data properly record the data properly and operate the data properly so all these things can be very easily you know can be uh, you know done through excel spreadsheet right Okay, so let me uh, let me give you another kind of you know uh, structure. So in the Excel spreadsheet, you have actually copy options, you have paste options, uh, you can have a drag options. Uh, you can you know uh, you know uh, drag the row uh, row wise kind of you know entry. Then you can drag the column wise kind of you know entry. So you have actually enough kind of you know flexibility to operate the data in the excel spreadsheet because you know you once you enter the first end data so that data may not be in a structured format but you know excel will help you to transfer the data in a kind of in you know, a structured format but for that you should know all the operations and we should know all the commands once you know all the operation and you know excel commands then it is very easy to operate the data and put the data in a kind of in you know, a structured format so that you can analyze as per the particular requirement either you know uh, uh, excel itself will give some kind of you know solutions or you know insights or by reading all these data and then with these insights you can solve some of the business problems and can take a uh, you know management decisions and uh, uh, you know on the other sides uh, once you make the particular structure then that particular you know uh, structured data can be use further investigations and then you will get much better inference uh, for the management requirement but uh, actually the excel has a beauty to uh, to you know to handle the particular problem in a uh, in a better shape and you know analyze the problem as per the particular you know management re requirement right so uh, uh, i will give you a uh, you know kind of an example that you know excel has a kind of you know flexibility that you know uh, you can predict the kind of you know situations you can interpolate you can extrapolate so so many things are there so you uh, the drag option is a very beautiful you know you know one of the very beautiful features of in you know, excel spreadsheet which can help you lot to you know tra uh, transfer the data or you know uh, can you know uh, you know structure the data as per the particular requirement here the classic example is you know the demand uh, price models where you know uh, if price is given with respect to some condition then you can actually predict the demand uh, as per the particular you know requirement and as per the requirement of a business model so usually a price demand uh, structure is like that you know you, you must have a price 
then corresponding to price what should be the uh, uh, demand forecastings right so the typical uh, you know uh, as usual uh, relationship between price quantity can be analyzed like this this is called as a linear uh, representations between price and quantity and this is what it's called as a nonlinear representation with respect to price and quantity and here there are four items uh, if you go to the uh, linear kind of you know uh, this model so d equal to a minus d p so a b are parameters and d is a kind of you know variable p is a variable p stands for price d stands for you know demand and a is constant and b is constant so now uh, once you know the values of you know a and b then with change of you know price you can you know predict the uh, demand but uh, you know the a b actually not constant but it it will be uh, estimated through past values and once uh, 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 through some kind of an uh, advanced analytic analytics tool and which we will discuss in the later stage but in the meantime since it is a kind of an uh, excel view operation so assuming that you know a b is constant then uh, p is given uh, you are supposed to uh, you know forecast the demand only so now how excel can help you in this particular process that we are interested to know okay so then i i'll take you to the excel spreadsheet and let you know how it actually operates in this particular process this is a linear kind of you know, structure so that means here a you see here a is given a b is given and price is changing like this corresponding to this price this should be the demand because the demand equation is here d equal to a minus bp and then when price will change then demand will change when price will change again 200 then this will be changing demand then price is changing 210 then this is also changing demand and 120 this will be also having you know some change that means technically so the model uh, you know um, model can you know give some kind of you know, inference that you know when there is a variation in price then there is a variation in quantity so here we are following a kind of you know increasing price trend then we are fi finding a here the structure that you know it is the quantity in a decreasing trend because the uh, model is showing you know some kind of you know inverse relationship why the because the slope coefficient is coming negative so that's why uh, you know this is a standard kind of you know theoretical framework or the kind of you know uh, given model and uh, we are here predicting and testing these models and excel excel will help you lot uh, for this kind of you know testing and for this kind of you know predicting right so let's let's see how excel can uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know we will go, we'll go for some kind of you know demo then we get to know how actually happening in the excel sheet then you can uh, you can easily understand you know what is the beauty of you know excel spreadsheet altogether right and this this is the another kind of you know look here so if you go to the same problem but it is a kind of you know nonlinear kind of you know modeling so that means again this will add value to the excel spreadsheet that you know whether it is a linear model or nonlinear model but you know excel can help you lot to analyze these problems right that is again one of the interesting and you know beauty of the use of you know excel spreadsheet right so now i will i go to this particular you know so this is another kind of you know structure through which he, you know analyze because the previous one uh, is a, a, you know indication about the kind of you know what i can call or let me take you to the previous one so this is actually the kind of you know structure we followed through absolute reference then this is the the structure we are following through you know relative reference right so the game between relative reference and absolute reference then uh, the forecasting can be done so uh, by using you know dragging options right so in the meantime so the same structures so what we can do we will take you to the particular you know, excel sheet and i will show you the demo okay so let's say this is actually the same problem the same problem here so uh, i have entered here data and your uh, model will be like this so the uh, 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 model will be like this d equal to uh, you know a minus b p so this is what the model and a is given here so this is a value and this is actually b value and p is now changing with respect to uh, you know with respect from uh, 82 or uh, you know let's say 120 in fact you know uh, uh, we, we, we take up to this much then this is actually average of this particular series and uh, then we will check actually when price is changing from one point to another point how the demand is changing right so then what will you do so we will go to this particular you know uh, you know structures so let's say we, we i have already 
uh, already calculated this particular structures. Let me give you the uh, 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 demo how it is actually happening. Let us you know you just put the equal equal to equal to options then by default now the uh, you know cursor is ready to operate right. So, what will you do? You have to just give the command then automatically this will give you some kind of you know prediction. For instance, here the model is actually the model is actually represented here d equal to a minus b p then by default what I will do here. So, I am just writing here you know 20,000 ok 20,000 then minus uh, minus uh, 10 uh, minus 10 into uh, 10 into then this I will indicate this price structure then I will just put you know enters ok. So, now you see here corresponding to this price the demand is this much only. So, which is actually matching already we have forecasted and we are just you know uh, cross checking that you know uh, showing that you know yes this is working properly. Then you just you know uh, what will you cause drag, uh, uh, dragging options then you cause just drag it then automatically by default. So, it will automatically you know give you the prediction value of the demand subject to you know price change. So, when 80 to 90 then it will change from 19200 to 19100 when the price again changing to 100 then this will again reduce to 19000. So, that means this is what actually the particular you know structure. So, this is what I have actually used for the kind of you know demand uh, uh, you know demand forecasting uh, uh, subject to you know price availability. So, now uh, what I will do here is I will take you this this particular testing can be done in two different ways which I have already highlighted here in the case of you know see here. So, this is what we have actually uh, pointed out here this particular structure here we have uh, represent you know relative reference and you know absolute reference. So, the model which I have tested there is with respect to actually a relative reference just we specify this particular you know row and column then it gives indications. The, uh, this is the structure which I have already highlighted there right. Uh, oh, so, okay, so, that means technically uh, so, this this particular you know uh, this particular you know uh, structure which you have followed this is called as you know relative reference using the relative reference we have actually tested the model and you know using excel sheet. So, how prediction is happening. So, similarly we can do through absolute reference this is also another way to predict the particular you know environment go to this particular again the spreadsheet and again. So, what I will do here. So, uh, in fact I have already done here in the case of you know uh, uh, this is this is what actually what I have explained here in the case uh, you know uh, relative reference. Now, I am showing you in the case called as you know a relative a relative a, you know a, a absolute reference for uh, ok. So, go to this particular. So, this is this is actually the kind of you know relative structures and where where actually you just you know put the values and connect with a particular you know uh, column indications. So, in this case so, you have to you have to actually uh, apply the absolute kind of you know structure through which you can predict the particular you know environment. So, now in this case in uh, ok. Ok, so uh, um, so what uh, you know so what will you do here? So, this is uh, this is what uh, this is what actually we have done here. So, now in this case in this case so uh, we are actually reporting the price figure uh, and quantity figures and the price is changing from 80 to 90 100 110 120 then uh, it will give you some kind of you know uh, demand forecasting. So, this is with respect to rel a relative reference and this is with respect to absolute reference right. So, in the absolute reference you have to just you know connect with a particular you know uh, column and row indications then you apply the dragging options as a result it will give you some kind of you know uh, structure about the demand forecasting. For instance, here's, uh, here here you can actually uh, use some of the other options to know much better about this particular you know demand forecasting. For instance, uh, let us put you know equal to here you can you can able uh, get to know what is the average price. Uh, like you know uh, put here what is the average price during this particular you know 5 different periods then what is the average quantity which you can have actually in this particular you know structure. So, put in this average 
so the uh, you know this will give you the average kind of you know structure about this demand forecasting so that means actually what i can say that uh, you know excel has a beautiful kind of you know structure through which uh, you have to do lots of you know operations uh, uh, you know to uh, uh, solve some of the business problems and you know uh, structure the data then you know uh, you know use this particular data for further kind of you know investigation by using advanced analytic uh, analytics tools right so these are the various you know ways we can handle the particular you know situations but uh, the thing is that you know uh, uh, you, you know what i can say that you know ex, uh, excel uh, you know uh, uh, use or excel understanding is one of the uh, basic requirement or you know you can say precondition for uh, any kind of you know um, you know business analytics or you know you know business investigation is concerned right so in this lectures uh, what we have actually discussed that you know you understand the business analytics structures so far as you know various tools are or analytics baskets are concerned that is on the basis of descriptive analytics predictive analytics prescriptive analytics and then uh, you know uh, then you we, with the help of you know data structure you know data understanding and you know excel operations you may be in a kind of you know better position to get some kind of you know insights or you know inference for some kind of you know uh, management decision to solve the business problem so what i can you know summarize here that you know uh, before you start any kind of you know investigation through business analytics one of the fantastic key, you know or key requirement is the data and uh, you you have to understand the data and uh, you have to report and record the data as per the particular requirement and again with the help of you know excel sheet you can operate the data or structure the data as per the problem requirement or you know any particular analytics tools requirement once you uh, once you do that and you know then you may be in a better position to analyze the problem uh, as per the uh, particular you know requirement so uh, so summation is that you know uh, you must uh, you know know the kind of you know data structures and then you must know how excel spreadsheet can you know use for data entry and data structuring right so again so after knowing all these you know basics about the excel you know uh, spreadsheet so you can also analyze the same problems by using excel data analysis package or else you can go for some advanced you know analytics or you know softwares through which you can you know same data can be operated that means you know every every software has a kind of you know important export uh, features so you can actually open another software and then import the data excel data from one file to the particular software and then through advanced analytics tools you can solve the business problem so that means uh, uh, so the what is uh, what i like to say that you know uh, excel spreadsheet has a beautiful kind of you know structure through which uh, you know you can uh, solve some of the problems and it will help you lot to uh, use the data for you know uh, you know problem requirement or you know problem investigation so uh, so it is actually very much required that you know you should understand the data and you should know details about the excel spreadsheet until unless you know the excel spreadsheet or the use of excel spreadsheet you are not in a position to analyze the problem in a more attractive way so that is how you have to you know uh, you have to know all these details before you proceed for any kind of you know advanced investigation with this we will stop here and thank you very much have a nice time